Hi YouTube and Happy New Year. This is Abraham Muller again and today we'll be looking at the new Palm Pilot Professional and 2 megabyte upgrade, really a Palm 3 upgrade for the Professional that I've just gotten on eBay. I wanted to get this since it's one of the first Palm Pilots, not quite the first, but very close to the first. And the upgrade, you know, was, was pretty pricey. That was $40, including, I think, $25 shipping from Great Britain. This came surprisingly quickly. I think it was one or two weeks. And this includes not just the um, upgrade uh, RAM card, as you can see on the back, but a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, new memory door with infrared window, Palm desktop organizer software installation guide, basic handbook for the Palm 3 organizer, and then, yeah, a few other things for the new Palm 3. And this is really good because it basically upgrades the Palm Pilot Pro to um, Palm 3 specs. It's still, ooh, shrink-wrapped, you know, still brand new. Anyway, so that was pretty expensive. What was less expensive was getting the Palm Pilot Pro itself. All of this was $10. Diskettes for setting up the desktop software for the CD-ROM, quick start guide, um, handbook, yeah, handbook there. Nice, cute uh, graffiti sticker and 9 to 25 pin uh, serial adapter. And then the dock, our fun hot sink dock way in the back, which is all serial. It wasn't USB at, at, at this point. So anyway, before I do a demo of the Palm Pilot Pro, I'll go ahead and talk about its uh, specifications. It ran Palmos 2.0. Again, this wasn't, you know, the Palm Pilot uh, 1000 or 5000 that I believe ran uh, variants of Palmos 2.0. It has a 16 megahertz MC68328 Dragon Ball processor. Again, a 68K class uh, processor. 1 meg, meg of RAM built in. A 160 by 160 LCD that's also backlit and there's space for those you know graffiti gestures that you can use to convert your handwriting into uh, letters and numbers and characters and it runs for 30 hours straight on two AAA batteries two alkaline AAA batteries and that's you know about a month of, of regular use I guess an hour a day of use Anyway, so with that, I'll go ahead and do a quick demo of the Palm Pilot Professional. Um, yeah, and then before I do the demo, I, I was thinking about the memory. I might have mentioned it, but again, it's 1 meg. I think in the original Palm Pilot, it was either 128K or... Um, oh, okay, here we go. 128K in the Pilot 1000 and 512KB in the Pilot 5000, so substantially higher. Uh, amount of RAM in, in the professional. Uh, this is, you know, really nice complete set. Um, the pilots in this awesome leather sleeve that's uh, a bit, uh, yes, I think a rigid plate on the front. So, you know, if you hit it, you don't break the screen, which, you know, happened to my Palm 3 back in middle school, I think it was around 2005. And so I had to spend eight bucks replacing the screen. Yeah, big deal. Um, anyway, you know, nice shape. It's it, it feels bigger than, you know, say the Z22 or, or some of the newer Palms or even the Trio that, that I love so much. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll show what's on it. You know, there's an up and down button, uh, date book, address, to-do list, memo. You know, this graffiti area, the left side is um, letters, the right side's numbers. Yeah, I'll try and get this in focus. There we go. Yeah, anyway, so graffiti area, um, some soft soft keys, I guess you'd call it, for applications, the menu in an application, calculator, and find. Um, and then on the back, you can see one of those graffiti stickers. You know, I'd point to the other one. It's just, just to help remember those gestures. Uh, we'll see that it is made in Malaysia, you know, reset button. Um, the cover for AAA batteries, uh, serial connector at the bottom, and then up top is the cover for the memory card 
yeah, yeah, RAM card and, and I think system ROMs also on there that I'll replace later in the video. And then over here on the right side is this beautiful, fun plastic stylus. And anyway, so I'll go ahead and turn this on. And there you go. We can see the original Palm OS 2. Uh, that's not going to help. Yeah, I'm adjusting. Up. I am adjusting exposure compensation. I think I'll probably have to just, you know, get the right lighting. There we go. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah. So what was I saying? Palm OS 2 interface. The time and then the battery information are on the bottom. I think we'll see you later with Palm OS 3. That's up top. Uh, address, calculator, date book, expense, giraffe. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Hot sync, mail, memo pad, memory, pref, security, to-do list. Um, yeah, I guess most of these are pretty um, self-explanatory. Let's take a look at prefs. Yeah, the menu up top here, buttons, digitizer, formats. Um, all of this, the network, network one's pretty fun. Um, I think what you could do is, is uh, oops, set up a uh, PPP connection over serial. Details. PPP. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, hot sync, date book, um, security, to-do list, and so on. Uh, memory, so we should see that it's uh, 1 meg. Yeah, 20k used of 960k. Uh, Pref, state book, giraffe. Um, yeah, what was I going to get to? Yeah, so giraffe is, is I guess, what's not um, self-explanatory here. That's a game where you can try uh, practicing your graffiti keystrokes. Go ahead and press start game. You go in the graffiti area, you know, write the gesture for A and N and so on before the letter falls to the bottom. Otherwise, you'll crash. Anyway, it's a good way to teach yourself those graffiti gestures. And as you can see, it's quite natural. I'll do just a little more there. P. Anyway, I'll end, end the game here. Okay. Um, I won't go through all the applications. Besides that, uh, date book, we can see um, address list, palm, pilot accessories and technical support, to-do list. Get that registration card in from... 24 years ago yeah, and the memo list um, yeah, entering text in your Palm Pilot yeah hopefully that's easy to read maybe I'll try zooming in Okay, anyway, uh, one other thing I don't think I showed you is the backlight. That's going to show up as, as blue in the video, but it's it's really greenish, bluish, I guess, um, in in real life to me. And, and that's pretty nice. I think what happened in, in slightly newer models is, is you could invert this and have the text uh, backlit instead of the um, LCD background, which, you know, could help with with legibility. Okay, I'll turn that off. And yeah, I think that's that's pretty much everything for demoing the UI. I'm going to go ahead and open up, break the seal, lower the value. <laughs> yeah, open up that 2 meg upgrade and we'll install it. Um, okay, we'll come back to pulling the back cover off. Let's get the scissors out. Tear that off. We'll have a US Robotics Palm Pilot Professional with a 3COM 2 megabyte upgrade. Okay. 
Okay, so now I should be able to open that up. Oh, yeah. Looky here. Uh, 2 meg installation upgrade. Yep. And, um, okay. Anyway, so there's our new door with the IR cover just on the top there. And so we'll get new beaming capability. Woo! And, um, yeah, so this is the uh, module that I'm going to install here. Yep. yep, there we go. I think you'll be able to know what that is. Palm 3, 2 meg upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Break the seal. Okay, and now I can open that puppy up. Okay. So I probably, you know, don't want to expose this, this quite yet. I'll, I'll pull the back cover off my uh, Palm Pilot Pro and go ahead and install that, and we should see this new beautiful operating system. No. Okay, and what does that say? Pro US UK. Yeah, so it were Vision A. So you know it's in a Palm Pilot Pro. Wow. Um, and just to get it to come out, I'm going to push on those tabs and then lift. And I'll take my module here, pull it out, make sure I have that going in the right way, yeah, so it'll be easy to tell which way is the right way, there's the new module, there's the old one, nice and ginger on that, yeah, pop it out, put it back in, now I have an upgraded Palm Pilot Pro with Palm OS 3 for now. I think what I'll do is, is upgrade to 4.1 though, so I can run as many applications as possible on this upgraded Palm Pilot Pro. Yep. Okay, I was a little worried there, but it looks like it went in fine. All right, now we have a new cover sliding back in. Okay, whoa, we have a Palm 3 now. What I want to point out is the, um, what do I call it, the slope on that back cover to fit the IR port. That's awesome. Okay. I think I'll need to reset this. Or maybe just remove batteries. Oh, I remember that from the Palm 3. Okay, and let's set the digitizer. And the time. That's awesome. That is so cool. Uh, I'm going to try to focus this in a little better. There you go. Okay, so what time is it? 
It is 2.51 a.m. on January 10th. Okay. Oh, not 2020, 2021, and January 10, which is a Sunday. Good job, Paul. Let's see if you can see that up there. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay, system sound, auto off, beam receive, beam receive. Wow. Uh, I'll just say it's Abraham. Moeller, who owns this? Wow, look at that. It's a little disappointing. I mean, I don't have Giraffe. I'll have to install that separately. Um, the batteries look good. Um, let's take a look at the menu. Go Options, About Applications. Yeah, Palm 3. So cool. Well, that's that's really nice, and that's you know really all I, I hope to show you. It's it's awesome that uh, worked out nicely. I think what I'll do next is upgrade this to Palm OS four point one. You know, I can fl I I can flash this, and I've heard you know they're they're playing an an upgrade card for this. They'll even have um, twelve megs of RAM and and four megs of of flash, so you could you know add in say a terminal application or a few games in the flash that you don't lose you know when the when the batteries run out very cool device and i can't wait to have more fun with it thank you all for watching i appreciate your attention and please like or subscribe if you're interested in, if you like this video and if you want to see more in the future happy new year once again and take care